Hello everyone and welcome, this is Alex, the architect for back for app and in today's episode of our Parse Crash course we will talk about roles. As your application grows and you start having lots of users, it becomes difficult to manage all the objects and users through ACLs because we end up with a lot of ACLs. This is why Parse for convenience creates the role class. Think as a role as a conjunction of many users all with the same privileges. You can also have a role that has other roles sharing the same privileges. So every time you need to change uh, privileges for lots of users, you just change it for the role and all the users will be affected by that. So if I come here to my code, have here the code from last episode. I'm going to comment this out. So in order to create a role, first I have to create a ACL and tell which permissions that role will have. So we start by typing let my ACL equals new parse.acl. And then uh, we can set the properties for that ACL. So my ACL dot set public read access true because I want to be able to read inf public information and also my ACL set public write access to true. So I'm going to create a role. So let my role equals new parse role and then I'm going to set it uh, a name for it we call this read public read write and pass my ACL and after that we can call my role Dot say. So if I go back to my console and go back to Safari and reload, you see I have here my public read and write role with public read and write ACL. And I have the ability to put users and roles to this. So in order to add the users to that role, I'm going to comment this out here. So we'll have to query that role and then add users to it. So I'm going to do it by typing let roles query equal new parse.query and we'll query the parse roles. And roles query dot equal to and I'm going to search for the name and the name of my role was public read and write which I have uh, written here so let role equals await roles query dot first this will just bring the first result for that Query. and if I have this object here then I'm going to start adding users to that so role dot get users dot add and my user there and then role dot save console and no index.js and come here reload the data and enter here in users you will see for this you for this role I have my user added there so anything and any class and any object that I set that rule as right now will give the permission of public read and public write to them so, for instance, if I come here in the address class and get my role, 
uh, then you get the role ID. So if I go here and set my role there. you see I have my role with this set permissions. So if I save ACL right now, now I can even remove the public ones from there and I still have my role working and have public read and access to that role. So this makes much easier to manage the permissions for lots of users. You can create multiple roles with multiple levels of access and use them instead of ACLs for each user, for each object. So I hope you enjoyed this and hope to see you on the next episode. So see you soon. Bye bye.